Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. King Productions and welcome back to a new video. Today I am going to be starting off my very first Hearts of Iron 4 modding episode with how to get your mod started and how to make a new mod and what you're going to need in general for making mods. So let's just jump right into this. You guys showed a lot of support on the introduction video. So I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys, but let's just jump right into it. First off, under your Steam library, you're going to want to go to your Hearts of Iron 4 uh, game, I guess, and just right click and go to properties. Then we're going to want to go to set launch options and change this to dash debug, just like this. Click OK, and then you should be good there. Also, you're going to want to go ahead and download Sublime Text. I will leave a link in the description below. This is what I personally use for like coding and modding and stuff like that. So as you can see, this is a file from my zombie mod. And this is just what I generally use. Now, we're going to want to go to our file explorer, go to our documents, Paradox Interactive, Hearts of Iron 4, and then Mod Folder. And just leave this open. We're going to want to hit play over here on our Steam or just open up Hearts of Iron 4. Open up Hearts of Iron 4, go to your mod file, click on Mod Tools, Create Mod, and name your mod and put your directory in. Alright, so once you have your mod name and your directory, you're going to want to put in some mod tags. I recommend using all four slots so that you have the greatest chance of showing up on the Steam Workshop. And basically, you just pick what your mod is going to be about. So ours might change some some balance and some events and we're going to have some gameplay differences and something like that, right? Just pick four that relates to your mod. And once that is done, we're going to click create mod here and it should say successfully created mod. Now we can just close Hearts of Iron 4 and as you can see, we have a folder with YouTube Tut and YouTube Tut dot mod. If we open up this YouTube Tut dot mod, we can see the name of our mod, our directory, and the four tags we chose. Know that you can change anything in here. That's about it for this episode, and I want to thank you all so much for the support on the last video we made. I'm looking forward to making a cool mod for you all. If you have any suggestions of what you want to see in modding, then please let me know and I can show you uh, just what that is. Remember to keep it in reason just because I'm honestly not a great modder, but I managed to create infection. So that was really, really cool. Anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.